This grand opening is to welcome the expansion of the single experiment snow, with the help of the snow lab facility, in which it supports a multitude of experiments and development of cutting-edge research. To create opportunities and to further study neutrinos, dark matter and supernovas, to demonstrate how they all tie into our galaxy's existence. This grand opening is for you to anticipate the future of science and astroparticle physics. It will lead us into the future. Good evening. My name is Chris Hadfield. I'm one of Canada's astronauts from the Canadian Space Agency. First and foremost, congratulations on being the gala opening of Snow Lab. It's an incredible location in the Earth. I think all of you know that uh, not only is this amazing research going on deep below the surface, but it's such a unique part of the world for many reasons that in fact astronauts like myself have used the terrain around Sudbury to train uh, because of its unique geologic properties. In fact, its similarity to the impact craters on the moon. And in 1971 and 72, people learned techniques walking on the surface around Sudbury that then they used specifically in order to identify different types of rock and therefore specifically figure out some of the history of the universe by grabbing the right rocks and understanding what had happened on the surface of the moon. Well, what's going on beneath the surface now there is doubly exciting. The capability to search for dark matter by going two kilometers below the surface of an impact crater in Sudbury is almost counterintuitive, but it's wonderful in its capability. The same goes for solar physics, to think that we can learn more about the sun by creating such an incredible capability and laboratory. And seismology, of course, to be able to, to understand what's happening with some of the tremendous impacts that come from earthquakes and seismologic processes around the world. And the Earth's core itself, the heat flux of our planet, being able to learn more about that, uh, down of materials in the center of the earth and, and how that powers our very planet. All of those things uh, are fundamental to human understanding and therefore uh, health, long-term health, both of ourselves and of the environment around us here on the surface of the earth. We're doing similar things up on the space station, I think as many of you know. The alpha magnetic spectrometer, uh, using the same idea of an extremely rare and unique environment in order to try and and gather particles and gather matter and a better understanding of the energy that will lead us to understand the universe that surrounds us and influences our lives. And it is this, this human understanding that's at the very core leading us to applications to improvement of human life itself and to the environment that sustains us and the planet that contains it all. Hi, I'm Bob McDonald. I really wanted to be there tonight because I was at the official opening of the first drilling for the new tunnels. I went back later and saw the large rectangular hall before it had anything in it, and I'm looking forward to seeing the lab up and operating. Uh, I just have one little mm, suggestion. It's about the name Snow Lab. I mean, snow for Sudbury Neutrino Observatory is very clever and very Canadian especially since you need to walk along a snow drift to get to it. Snow Lab, well, I think we can do better than that. I understand that one of the experiments involves listening for popping bubbles inside a gel to detect dark matter. So, why don't we call the lab Suds? Snow and Suds. It's Canadian. It's perfect. Well, whatever the name, congratulations. Have a wonderful time tonight. Hi, my name is Dr. Dave Williams, former Canadian astronaut, currently CEO and President at South Lake Regional Health Centre in Newmarket, Ontario. I'd like to welcome you to the grand opening of the Snow Lab facility. Truly a remarkable state-of-the-art facility to help us understand the neutrinos and dark matter. I think it's really exciting looking at the role that it plays in making sure that Canada is well represented as a state-of-the-art facility in space-related research and astrophysics. The Canadian Space Agency is truly a remarkable organization. Canada is one of the major spacefaring nations globally, and we've got a reputation for excellence in human exploration of space, space robotics, remote sensing, Earth observation, but we also have a world-class reputation 
for astrophysics. And I think Snow Lab is a great example of the research facilities that have led to that world-class reputation, providing state-of-the-art research facilities that Canadian researchers can use, but we can also attract researchers from throughout the world to help study these advanced concepts. You know, often in the space program we're challenged about the value, the economic return of the research that we do. And I think there's many examples of the success and the value of space-related research. Certainly, a Canadarm and Canadian robotic technology. Robotics is just one example of the many applications of science and technology. We've had an economic return over 10 to 1 with the development and implementation of the Canadarm on the Space Shuttle. Of course, nowadays we're talking about robotics on the space station, the tremendous role that that applies. Often we get questioned about the value, the economic return for space-related research. I think fundamentally, while we seek to explore space and understand fundamental concepts of astrophysics, we're really driving the development of new knowledge, driving the development of new technology that has economic advantage for us in the future. Arguably, over the course of the last 50 years and the Canadian role in space exploration has led to new evolutions in development of satellite technology, development of remote sensing capability, development of advanced space robotics that's enabled us to help build the International Space Station using that platform as a world-class research laboratory and I think Snow Lab is a great example of this as well where we will learn fundamental aspects of astrophysics and be able to take that knowledge to change the way in which we are thinking about our solar system and understanding complex concepts like extremophile biology using facilities like Snow Lab to talk about where other organisms may have existed in the solar system. So I think the economic return is significant. It's very important for Canada to be involved as a world leader in innovative science and research technology, but it's also very important to provide mentorship and exciting career research opportunities to stimulate the next generation of Canadian scientists. I think the Canadian Space Program does an incredible job in doing that, and I think Snow Lab does an incredible job in doing that as well. I think it's really exciting to think that Snow Lab puts us at the forefront of astrophysics research globally. It provides us a platform to enable us to study the particle physics, and I think there's also really exciting unique opportunities in my area of expertise, which is more along the life sciences, to study fundamental aspects of extremophile biology that's one of the important enabling sciences for astrobiology, the search for life elsewhere in our solar system. We have a truly world-class facility. I'm very proud as a Canadian astronaut to be here with you virtually tonight celebrating the grand opening of Snow Lab. And congratulations to everyone on the Snow Lab team for opening up this wonderful Canadian world-class facility. I congratulate you all. I welcome you all, of course, to the dinner tonight. I'm pleased uh, to be there even virtually. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person. But uh, again, congratulations and uh, good hunting deep below the earth. Well, I'd like to congratulate all of you for coming to the grand opening for Snow Lab, truly a world-class facility that is a state-of-the-art research environment for Canadian investigators and their international collaborators. I hope you have a fantastic opening. Suds. No, no, think about it. Suds. Sudbury Underground Dark Matter System. Tomorrow is one step closer to discovering.